Hello there. Back once more with an Orbiter install on a Prince of Prusa Mini. This time adding a Revo hot end to the mix. That requires the replacing the entire Mini hot end and heatsink. And replacing the wiring as well. So this is an install I did earlier. I'm going to fast forward through that because the minor issue with fitment did not measure every part that I needed to. This is the mount itself. The goal is to get the Revo as close to the orbiter as possible so you have a very low filament path. The only thing that's changed here is adding in these angle cutouts so that we'll actually be able to get the hut in all the way over as far as it needs to go. We also have this offset pin to probe mount. This is how Prusa used to do it before adding a front screw to attach it to the heatsink. It's a little bit weaker in terms of it might snap off, but as long as you don't mess with it, it should be fine. Anyways, I'm going to swap this guy in. I did record the install of this guy, so I'll probe a little bit about how we did the wiring. Make sure you see all that okay. And then we're going to show a test on this guy on a print shift alternative. So we have the conveyor belt, our part ejector. One of the features of this project is you can stick the steel sheet underneath, use the conveyor belt, or you can throw the steel sheet on top and use it as just a regular person mini. So we're here, instead of trying to print rockets that don't get wrapped up and destroyed by the belt, we are going to print a farm of rockets and see how well we do with the retraction with a direct drive orbiter to Revo setup. Alright, let's get you guys situated. I'm thinking just the frontal area. Let's try and work around the camera. Normally you won't have to remove the zip ties. Actually, one thing I did have an issue with the orbiter was that when I screw in the tensioner, it actually bottoms out. So I wasn't getting enough tension on, so I added two small washers. I think these are 632 washers, just whatever, but about three millimeters of washer to get increased pressure on the uh, um, TPU especially. I have not had that issue with any other plastics. This works great with the PETG and PLA, but if you're doing TPU, I wanted more pressure on it. So it's slipping a bit. That might not be an issue when we have the orbiter or when we have the Revo on. I've only tested printed this once and it worked great. I want to redo the install and pop him out. So holding the orbiter on from the top. Two M3 by 20 millimeter flathead screws. The Revo is held in by its included nut. We'll need that again in a minute. And the mount is held in by the original screws with two square nuts up at the front. Just to make life a little easier. So the top screw is easily accessible. But the bottom one is hidden by the fan. So this screw, you have to remove the fan to get at it. And that's just... Right here in the fan duct. One thing I do want to add to this is a improved fan duct. I have not looked around. I sort of assume that there'll be something nice available off on printables. But I haven't gone in search of it. Of course. That was pretty painless, but you know, third time's the charm. So it's actually the third try I've run this guy. Let's get the nuts out of their nut traps. So the easy way is to get new nuts. What's up, bud? I made a big mistake. Dun, dun, dun. What did you do? <laughs> what is that? It's Dr. Zomboss. You're fighting Dr. Zomboss? Yeah. And I lost the first time. First Two square time. nuts drop right into nut traps. 
actually printed on this machine. No, I am look. recording, but so, you know. Okay. It's a conveyor belt. Do you not like the conveyor belt levels? I do, this is boring. I gotta <laughs> get that one grape. I, you just don't need it. No, you. No, you. And also, there's gonna be guardian chores. I am doing it sort of. On, oh, are you gonna charge immediately? Wait, you have to. Man, do you have to charge there? Do you really have to charge? It's pretty tight. Let me get these in. Hit off. But once that is done. Oh, oh, get them out. Getting our hot end in place. No! Oh, wait, I might actually get in. I am gonna win. And that is the Revo mounted. I'm gonna take the Revo itself out. Oh. Just so we can see the filament change feature. I got it. You can see I cut the filament off because I forgot to remove it before moving over to my bench. I still don't have a spare power supply. I'll get there he, eventually. He, he got a Gurdian for Daddy, stay. He got a Gurdian for work. That is the joy of the Revo of... Let me just pop um, that out. Um, this is going to go up on the YouTube's... Two, two Gurdian. But with that removed, you can easily reinstall the fan. There we go. You got rid of the game for a while. I am frustrated for a time with the charm. Like, this might be so Did you hear me say that, Hank? What, yeah? Where were you sitting? <laughs> Didn't hear you. For times a charm. Yeah, that's, that's right, bud. So I'm just using all the same parts back in. Get them. Boom! And that is the install. I'm not sure if I should heat this up and pull it out or you if I should just... You immediately replaced it. Really? I think I'm actually just going to pull this, give this a cold pull. Mm. Yeah, look at that. All the way up to the melt zone, popped right out. The joy of TPU. Stick that guy all the way back in. Oh yeah, I got rid of it. Need some zip ties. Hey, I'm actually using this zip tie. I'm going right through the fan mount hole. So I'm zip tying the wires on and the fan on at the same time. It's fine. It doesn't really need to be all that securely mounted anyways. Yes! Got rid of him! And for these guys, I'm just going to zip tie them around the motor. Punch him! So that these connectors are not uh, stressed um, or moved. The Revo came with wires that are exceedingly yeah. long. So I cut them a little short to do the uh, to mount the ends. Oh, having long wires makes it really easy to do. Uh, Daddy, I'm gonna get rid of him. Good cable management. Daddy, Daddy, look. Bun, dun, dun, dun. Hey, you a little quiet, bud? He's about to die. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be picked up on the mic here. I'm sure. You want it on this too, cat? Why is everything in this room today? Just yeah? A little bit. We can actually Morgan. reach the edge. I defeated Dr. Zomboss. Good job, bud. I defeated him! On the pirate seats. Alright, so that is the final order install with New Hanan. It'll be up on printables. I'm gonna sneak it over, back into its hole, get a quick test print going, and see how it goes. Next so is this is wild. using print shift machine in its non-ejecting mode. Instead of one rocket, we're gonna print a rocket park. We can evaluate the stringing and performance of the Orbiter Revo combo on what's basically a stock Prusa Mini, pretty much ignoring my awesome print shift. However, thanks for watching. Happy printing. Hank, you wanna say bye? Bye.
All right, so results, the Orber, with zero tuning, no testing default retraction, we get quite a lot of stringing, but the print quality is still quite good. And there's actually nothing going on, at least from being a rocket, just a little stringing at the base. Lowering the retraction, this is still printing at 0.25 millimeter layer heights, so it's quite thick layers. A little stringing. If you go down to 0.2, the small ones stole my rocket. You can see the layer height difference on these guys. Focus on that. Yeah. Going down to 0.2 millimeter, you can still see the seam and a little stringing along the side, but. Fully functional, with no cleanup, a tiny bit tight. But well, works pretty great. So, Revo plus the Orbiter, one person mini. Very nice. Happy printing. <laughs>